Welcome back. Now, one of the most important things you're going to be doing with your audience is that you're going to want to connect your autoresponder or MailChimp to every transaction that you do so that when a customer purchases, you want to make sure that they are added to your email list so that you can continue to market to them. Now, MailChimp does have some direct integrations. You have direct integration with Stripe so that when you have a Stripe transaction, you can have that individual added to a specific list. Or when an individual makes a purchase from Eventbrite, you want to have that individual added to a specific list. And the same is true if you're going to conduct a transaction with Square or with WooCommerce using WordPress. However, you may have an existing infrastructure in terms of your shopping cart as well as your payment system and you may not want to change to these particular platforms in order to add people to your MailChimp list. Now, if most of your activity takes place on WordPress, you can do some of that activity by adding in a WordPress plugin. However, looking at the WordPress plugins, there is no easy way to connect to WordPress for a direct transaction, especially if you're using a specific shopping cart. Now, if you're using a website platform like Teachable, you can connect your MailChimp account to Teachable directly. And so to do that, you're going to go into your integrations area of your website platform. You'll click on MailChimp. And what you'll see here is that what Teachable wants you to get is your MailChimp API key as well as your MailChimp list ID. Now to get the API key, we're going to go into our account settings. Then we're going to go into the extras. When we get to the extras, we're then going to look to our API keys and we're going to create a key. We're going to copy that key from MailChimp and we're going to add it here to our Teachable account. Now, Teachable also asks us to get a specific MailChimp list ID. Now, what this means is that for this particular school inside of Teachable, you will be adding people to a specific MailChimp audience or list. That means then that we're going to have to come back to our audience and we're going to have to look to our audience settings. Once we're here, we're going to then look to our audience name and defaults. You're then going to see an audience ID. You'll typically see this written in a red letter. And so we're going to copy this audience ID. And once we enter this audience ID, here into Teachable, every student that is enrolled in a course in our Teachable account will then be added to our MailChimp list. We can undertake the same process inside of a similar course platform such as Thinkific. And all we'll need to do is to go to the similar area, which is integrations, and we'll look for the point where we can connect our MailChimp account inside of Thinkific, and we'll click Connect Account. We'll then be asked to log into our account in order to authenticate. We'll then need to allow Thinkific to talk to our MailChimp account. Now inside of Thinkific, we can then choose a specific MailChimp list. What we'll now do is click Save. And basically what we now have is that whenever a student is enrolled in Thinkific, They'll then be added to our MailChimp list. And so you'll want to go through this step whenever you're using a third-party cloud-based service. You'll want to look for an integration section. You'll then want to click to integrate into your MailChimp account. For example, in this case, we'll click connect our app. You'll then be asked for your MailChimp details. Now, obviously, the API key is grayed out. We'll just click Connect. So that means now that inside of this platform, if we choose this specific aspect, we'll then be able to access the list that we have already created inside of MailChimp. You'll see this in the Academy Pro cloud-based system where you have an integration section. And once again, in this case, you are asked for your API key. Now, if you administer your products 
on your website using a membership plugin, you can connect that membership plugin to MailChimp so that every time someone is added to your membership, you will then have that person added to your email marketing list inside of MailChimp. For example, one such membership plugin is called Wishlist Member. You can use this as a proxy for other membership plugins. So what we're going to do is go inside of Wishlist Member and we're going to go to the setup. And now that we are inside of Wishlist Member, we are going to go to the integrations section. And what we can do is go to the email providers. When we get to the email providers, we're going to see that there are autoresponder connections available. One of those connections is MailChimp. We'll see here that this integration is inactive. What we're going to need to do is to turn on this integration. What we're now going to need to do is to click configure. And in the same way that you would do with a cloud-based service, Wishlist member is now going to want the API key from MailChimp. What we can then do is to set up individual memberships. And now that Wishlist member is connected to our MailChimp account, we can select specific lists within MailChimp to be connected to specific memberships inside of Wishlist member. And so you'll see here that we can add in this specific list. And we can then click Save and Close. We can also connect to shopping cart services such as Thrivecart. We are now inside of our Thrivecart settings. And one of the things you'll notice here is that inside of the autoresponder section, you have a direct connection to MailChimp and you'll see it here. We're going to click View Settings. Now we are logged into our MailChimp account. So we can now click this button that says Authorize with MailChimp. That's going to take us to the login interface inside of MailChimp. What we're now going to do is click Allow. So now we are connected inside of Thrivecart to our MailChimp account. And so when we are creating a product inside of Thrivecart, we can go to the behavior area. We can click on Add Rule. What we can do is we can say that when the main product is purchased, we want to use MailChimp. And then we can select a specific list inside of MailChimp. We'll have them added to a list and it'll be the list that we have designated from within our MailChimp account. We can then click Save. And so now every time a product is purchased inside of Thrivecart, we're going to have that person added to a specific list in MailChimp. It's possible that you may work with affiliate platforms such as Warrior Plus. And when you are creating a product within the Warrior Plus system, what you can do is you can connect to a specific service. So for example, what we can do is we can connect to a MailChimp service. And once again, we are going to log in and authorize MailChimp to connect to our Warrior Plus account. We're then going to click Allow. Within Warrior Plus, we're going to give this account a name. As we are working now inside of this account, we're now going to be able to connect a new service. We're going to select the MailChimp service. And now from within Warrior Plus, we can select our specific list. Now it's possible that you may run into a case where you're using a system like JVZoo and there is no direct integration with MailChimp as you can see. That's the same problem that exists within Etsy even though you do have one with Aweber. This is the case where we're going to need to employ one of the workflow automation systems such as Zapier and we are going to look at that in the next process. Okay so with that thanks and I will see you in the next process.